so guys welcome to another video on the channel and welcome to another phase 2 video of the mini now today we're gonna be doing a major mod that is really simple but yeah we're gonna be changing up the wheels and tires today so as you saw in the overview video I have a set of Koenig decagrams ready to go on the car but I was still waiting on the tires so these are the new wheel and tire setup for the car and I have to say guys they're awesome So these are the finished wheels and tires. So we have our 16 by 8 Koenig decagrams wrapped in these Nankang S2Rs, 225, 45. And I gotta say guys, look at these mini boys. They're like nicely squared, perfect size for a wheel. I have to say I'm really happy with how these look, like the overall package. Um, I couldn't be happier guys, these are looking amazing, these tires will work a lot better than what we had on the car. These are 180 tread wear tires, like the tires that are on the MX-5 wheels are like 350 tread wear. So this compound is going to be so much softer, so much grippier, I'm so excited to get this on track. But, but first and foremost what we're going to do today is we're going to fit these wheels and tires on the Mini and check if we're going to run into any issues. Then I mean rubbing if we need to trim the fenders, roll fenders, whatever. Have spacers maybe fitted if the tire is too big. We're gonna check that all out today and then in the upcoming video we will fix any issues that we find. So without further ado, let's get the car out here and fit these new babies on it. I'm so excited, let's go. Guys, if you missed the last video where we fitted this Dorenza exhaust, go check it out because it's amazing. This exhaust sound, dude, I'm so happy with it. Now let's set the car up in the air. Man, this exhaust. Damn it, dude, I'm loving it. So guys, the car is still in the air, we have the new wheels on, I have to say, they already look massively aggressive. Like if we look in the front, initial fitment wise, it seems okay. Now in the rear we don't have the fender on, and without the fender flare, these wheels are like really, really, really poking out it seems. But I think once we put it down on the ground, it will be very good. Now initial check for clearance so we have the rear trailing arm right here and i can put my finger in between it so that's good and also between the wheel and the strut i have like a good finger of clearance so on the inside the car it should be okay the only thing we're gonna need to check is in the front if we turn this tire left to right how much clearance we will have up here on the front and on the back and then once on the ground, we will also check the inner fender guy. Ugh. What would you call this? This inner fender. Um, how much space we have over there so it doesn't rub every time we go through a corner. But guys, without any further delay, let's put this girl on its new shoes, shall we? This looks gorgeous. Like, I love this. Now, one thing that doesn't really make sense to me, this is a 225. 
the wheels are the same offset. So guys, AVP from the future here, and I need to correct myself, I couldn't leave it in the video, but there is an offset difference between the Decagram wheels and the Ampliforms. The Ampliforms have a 45 offset and the Decagrams a 35 offset, which means that the Decagrams will sit one centimeter more outward on the car, which means, which explains why I have more inner fender clearance and why the wheels will poke out a bit more. But I'll let you continue the video, but I just needed to tell you guys this, so if I make the mistake again later on in this video, please know there is an offset difference. But again, the wheels look amazing. Let's get back to the video. But just see how aggressive this tire sits. It sits perfectly flush with the outer edge, so I guess we could have some rubbing issues if we hit the corners really hard up here, but time will have to tell. Maybe we'll trim like the inside edge here so that we get a bit more uh, room and maybe we'll, yeah space out or like roll the fender a bit underneath the bonnet but this looks amazing dude you guys i'm so happy with how this looks like in the rear i'm a bit more worried because if we look like if we look from this edge on the tires does seem to poke out like five millimeters or so now nothing we can work around like as you see we can still roll this fender out we can still do loads of stuff but i'm gonna be waiting to do any of that because i still have the other side to do where the fender is still on but this is just man i love this look like this these are 225s these are 235s these wheels sit inside so these this is 235s that sits flush but this 235 actually sits inside. So that just shows how aggressive these, these tires are. As somebody's like versus a street tire. Like, this is just bonkers to me. Like guys, check this out, right? So this is a 225. That just roll this one over. Like a lot of you racing, race car guys will be like, dude, we already knew this. Why are you telling me this? But this is the first time for me actually having semi slicks. So just you can get this lined up a bit. Just look at this, you guys. So this is a 235 street tire, Hankook Ventus. These is the these are the NS2Rs. Like they're. Like the NS2Rs are very square and actually have a lot more run like contact patch on the tire versus this street tire. Also a lot more rubber. I'm so excited about these tires guys. I, I think I think it's it's all over the video that I'm excited, but damn. Just look at this. If you didn't know yet, I love Koenig wheels if you want to get a set of your own. Be sure to go into uh, the description down below. There will be a link to the APN Road website where you can get your own set of Koenig wheels. We'll ship anywhere into the EU and give you a great deal on them. Now let's get to these two final wheels on the car and yeah, check if the steering will give us any rubbing issues once we turn the wheel. But Now maybe a bit of a disclaimer, most mini guys will actually run, like if you have an R53 and look up like specs for track day cars, most guys will actually run 15s instead of the 16s that I have here and you'll actually go up to a 7 inch wide wheel not an 8 like I have here and run 205s and they say that that's more than adequate for a mini but I love midi setups so that's why I went with the 8 inch wide and had a 225 on there only because I knew I could with the car actually fitting the Koenigs that I have, the Ampliforms that I have from my MX-5 and also I went with 16 instead of 15 just because if I were to go with a bigger brake setup in the future, some, someday maybe, I still have some extra room to play with within these Koenig wheels. Like if you didn't know, Koenig actually designs their barrels to fit as much brake as possible within the wheel. So if I just brighten this up a bit, you guys will see I still have a lot of braking space here from the caliper to the wheel and also in between here there's still a lot of space to put in like a more aggressive caliper in there. So if you look to the wheel design it actually has this stepped up lip then it has this flat spot but then it tapers out again again to give you as much space as possible to fit around the brake caliper. So those are actually just the little things that Koenig does 
so you can fit the maximum amount of brake within your wheel which is an amazing feature to have on a motorsport wheel yeah Koenig kudos to you guys I am very proud to be a dealer to actually very proud to be the official dealer for Koenig wheels in Belgium so if you guys want a copy set shameless plug go to the description down below I'll put the links to our wheels page and yeah send me an email let me get you guys set up with some cool lightweight and not breaking the bank set of wheels So guys, the car is, is on the ground now, and the bonnet is open, so don't look at the gap there, but damn, I love this. Now as I expected, the rear wheels are quite aggressive, as you can see they poke out just barely, they just barely have a bit of poke like you can see, like this is actually straight up. Now we can, when we align the car, give it a bit more camber in the rear and that should fix that issue or most of the issue. So in the rear there are some things that we will change. I so will look into one, cutting out this rear arch right here because this will rub. But I'm also thinking maybe, well, I don't actually know what I should do about this. Should I roll these rear fenders or should I just leave them, leave them be? I don't know, maybe just roll the lip out a bit. Let me know in the comments down below guys what you wish for me to do. Now the last thing we need to check is the front turning. So I'm going to open the bonnet, start the car and we're going to be turning the wheels. So looking at the fitment once we turn the wheel, the driver's side seems to be fine. We have more than like a fingers clearance all around. So I think even under heavy cornering, we should be fine on this side. Now on this side, however, on the passenger side, I did see a little bit of a rubbing spot from the previous 235s and it seems to be like right in between here. So where these cables are actually run against the inner fender liner it seems like right there we have a bit of a clearancing issue now maybe if i brighten this up like really heavily like you guys can see where the cable is routed like right there like you see where the cable is routed like right there like under this underside of this hole is where the tire will rub a bit so we will need to figure out if we can maybe move the inner fan liner closer to the chassis by moving around these wires a little more to get a bit more clearance in there. Otherwise, it seems like all is fine. And the mini guys will be amazing on these wheels. Like just look at this, dude. Just look at this. I think this is gonna be the thumbnail. Yeah, let's close the bonnet. It's gonna be the thumbnail, guys. But with the wheels now mounted on the car and checked what we need to do, I'm gonna end this video here because I don't really, don't really have the time to do any more work today. I still need to do the brakes in the rear, so there will be loads of more videos coming on this car. But first and foremost, I am so happy with how these wheels turned out. They look like really 
like meaty, aggressive. I'm, I'm loving the look and I'm really excited to know how they feel like on track. How big the difference will be with having a semi-slick with this soft of a tire compound um, in comparison to the street tires. It, I think in my mind will be blown the first time I'm on track with this, but I have to say guys, this makes me so eager to get this car done, to get it to the track, to get driving a bit more. But that's where I'm going to leave it for this week guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are as excited to see this car rip it on track as much as I do. But that's all I got time for this week guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did. Give it a dislike if you didn't like it and tell me how I can improve. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.